Peter, thanks for talking to me. Uh, what do you know about the circumstances uh, that could have led to this murder, the motive? Look, I'm completely, completely in, in a state of uh, dismay and uh, shock at having heard these charges. Um, and uh, I have absolutely no idea that this was something that was, um, you know, that had taken place. And even till today, I believe that, you know, a person is innocent until proven guilty. And I think that's the, um, uh, you know, let the law take its own course, let the police do their investigation fully and completely and transparently, and then we will, um, you know, truth will prevail. D did you know that Sheena was uh, Indrani's daughter? Certainly not. I had no idea that Indrani was, uh, that Sheena was Indrani's daughter. In fact, I was told before we got married that uh, Indrani had a brother and sister. Sheena was the sister and Mikhail was the brother. Sheena at some later point had pointed out that that was incorrect information, but... Uh, you what, know, what do you mean by that? Sheena had pointed out? Sheena had told me that, you know, uh, Jiju, and she used to call me Jiju, in fact, and uh, she said, Jiju, you know, this is not correct. Indrani has given you, uh, you know, wrong information. And uh, you please believe me and uh, told me that in so many words. Believe me in... in that I'm not her sister, but I'm actually her mother. But I'm actually her daughter. She told you that? She told me that. And, of course, I could not take that at face value because, you know, all these years I believed that uh, she was Indrani's sister and Indrani had told me that. I then confronted Indrani about it. And Indrani said that is utter rubbish, and this has been, you know, fed to Sheena from some somewhere else, and it is completely, completely untrue, and not to, not to believe that at all. Did your son Rahul, uh, who was going around with Sheena, tell you uh, that Indrani was the mother and not the? Rahul echoed exactly what Sheena had said. Obviously, they had conferred with each other. They knew each other's, uh, you know, thoughts, and and uh, uh, they had discussed this clearly between themselves. And so when Rahul told me the same thing, I had, um, you know, uh, responded to him in exactly the same way, that that is absolutely untrue and that I have spoken to, uh, to Indrani and Indrani has told me, you know, in, in a completely honest sort of way and she's my wife and I believe my wife. There wasn't any question of me not believing my wife, you know, a woman who had married and I'd lived with for, a, a, you know, over 10 years at that point. And so why would I have any reason to believe? Because my son was... It could not be because just because my son said so. I needed to have certain very clear evidences for that to be a uh, consideration. No, but well, when, when did Sheena tell you this? And uh, why didn't you believe her? Well, as I, as I said, Arnold, I think... When, when was this? When Do you remember when? Look, I seem to vaguely remember. I'm obviously not clear on the complete on the dates. But around the time of... Um, of just before my niece got married in 2011 um you know i had i was in in bombay at the time and uh, i met with sheena and rahul and um uh, at that time sheena had uh, said to me that she may be attending the wedding and um, and so on and she said to me that look you know the information that indrani has given you is all wrong and i am actually her daughter and indrani has uh, told me not to not to share this with, um, uh, not to share this with anyone. But I'm sharing it with you because you know I like you, and and uh, Rahul is my uh, boyfriend, and I cannot stay in a state of, um, you know, in, in live with this lie. I found it clearly very very difficult to to sort of digest that because all those years I've been told that you know she is Rani, my wife's sister, and she's. She's been home from time to time. She's visited when she was at college. And uh, there was absolutely no reason whatsoever for me to believe that she was um, anything other than Indrani's sister, my wife's sister. So if somebody walks into your house one day and, and somebody that you've known for a while and suddenly gives you some information and tells you that, listen, I'm actually not so-and-so's son, I'm so-and-so's brother, you will, uh, you might choose to discount it. You might wonder about it later on, but you might not necessarily believe it in its entirety which is what the case was with me. Uh, and uh, I think the second part of your question was, why did I not believe it? Why didn't you believe your own son? Well, was, no. there, was, there <laughs> trouble between, was there trouble between Indrani 
and Sheena. What was the point of disagreement? Mr. Mukherjee, I'd like you to elaborate on it. There have been reports that Indrani and Sheena were having a strained relationship. There are reports of some threats during the rounds. What was the cause, source Look, of conflict, I, cause of the conflict? To be honest, I wasn't aware of any threats. I uh, had no knowledge of that. Uh, between um, Indrani and Sheena, there were disagreements from time to time, like any siblings have. There were sometimes um, disagreements, but you know those, those disagreements and conversations between the two sisters. About what? About what? I don't really know. Is it true because that Indrani were, had problems with Sheena's relationship with Rahul? Look, of course, Indrani had a problem with Indrani's relation with Sheena's relationship with Rahul because it was um, something that. You know, she was uh, didn't approve of Rahul wasn't working at the time. She felt that China can do a lot better than uh, and settle down and have lead a more stable life with somebody who had a proper career, etc. And I've shared this information with Rahul numerous times. But the fact is, the issue at hand for me is more than whether she was sister or daughter or mother or cousin or aunt or whatever. The issue at hand for me is really the fact that. Indrani, my wife, is currently been charged with a with a murder uh, uh, charge and kidnapping and uh, 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 that of disposing of I understand, of that, but here's what people will say. They'll say, Rahul, your son, your own son told you. Sheena herself told you. And they were saying that Sheena is Indrani's daughter. And you chose to not believe. Look, either of them. In any case, what? In a, uh, let me tell you, Arnav, I don't know, you know, in your situation, what, um, how you would react to that kind of a, a, a allegation or a change of relationship, but in my relationship with my wife, I believe my wife nine and a half, nine point nine times out of ten. If I would go as far as saying ten times out of ten, unless I am proven or it is proven that she is wrong. She is my wife, after all. I have chosen to spend the rest of my life with her. She has chosen to spend the rest of her life with me. So there is no question that when somebody comes and gives me a particular, including my son, who for all sorts of reasons perhaps may not have been happy about my second marriage, etc., that's, you know, possibly a you reason felt why... That, you felt that's why you felt... No, I didn't feel... Did you, did, allow me to... Did you feel that Rahul was telling you that Sheena was Indrani's daughter and Sheena was telling you that Sheena was Indrani's daughter because they resented your second marriage with Indrani? Is that what you're saying? Well, that was what Indrani had also uh, responded to me by saying, is that, look, you know, you are choosing to believe, if you, if you do believe, you're choosing to believe your son, who in any case were unhappy about the fact that you have got remarried, and he, the best thing that he would feel would be that, you know, if the marriage was to, to break up. And um, that would make him happy, that would make his mother happy, and, you know, it would certainly be... You believe uh, an objective. It's not beyond comprehension that, you know, uh, uh, an offspring will find a second marriage of a parent, uh, you know, disagreeable. Where were you uh, on those days when this murder happened? Where were you? Well, and, and the, where was Indrani? Let, Tell us about let me Let me firstly respond by saying it's a murder charge and that uh, okay. Indrani, um, uh, from what I remember of the dates, was in, uh, was in Bombay at the time. Um, and um, and my daughter Vidhi and myself, we were out of the country in England. We were in Rome for that entire week, um, and we were not in in Bombay at all. So it was planned that she would come to Mumbai. You knew she was in Mumbai. Yeah, yeah I knew she was coming to Mumbai. Why was I she knew, coming to Mumbai? Knew, what did she tell you? Look, I knew she was coming to Mumbai. I knew she was coming to Mumbai to meet with her brother Mikhail, and that the two of them had um, worked out along with blessings from parents that they would um, make sure that uh, Sheena was uh, moved to Gohati and then from Gohati then, you know, the plan was that she was going to go and study overseas in the how, US. How can an adult, uh, educated adult doing a job be moved against their own will? Look, I don't know. I, to be honest with you, I didn't get into the detail of that. I assumed that there was some level of uh, uh, collusion between Sheena and uh, Indrani and that Sheena was unhappy in her relationship with Rahul at that point. Um, in fact, if, there, if my memory is correct, there was an email that was shown to me by Indrani on a laptop screen that, you know, Sheena is, uh, you know, looking to get out of that relationship and that relationship was not something that she was finding kind of uh, any, any great deal of uh, happiness in towards that particular period of time and that she wanted out. And so she shared that information with Indrani and Indrani then 
had reason to help her sister to uh, get out of it. And so that was what the reason that I was given by by Indrani and shown in a in an email form. Whose that, email? Well, I can't remember. I think it was an email from Shina to Indrani. Saying what? Saying uh, uh, it was a number of things, but towards the end of that, that look, I'm unhappy in this relationship. I really like Rahul very much, but I want to kind of move on. Uh, I think Rahul is uh, going to be very emotionally upset if I um, was to simply walk away and he won't accept me leaving him at this point. Um, and so I'm really not sure how to go about doing this. So words to that effect in that email. When I was shown that email, when I was given to read that, it made sense that she was then, on the basis of that, meeting Sheena for dinner in Bombay, meeting Sheena for dinner in Bombay, and along with Mikhail, who was coming down to Bombay from Gohati, and the three of them together, or the two of them three together, I don't know the detail on that, were going to go on to move to Gohati, where she was going to be housed in a family home, and at that point, go on from there to the US. That is my understanding of what exactly happened. Now you can call me stupid, you can call me ignorant, you can say that you know you should have known better uh, to, to believe one or the other and I will probably agree with that in that today with hindsight, with seeing what is being reported about this matter in the press, I could probably agree with you that I was blindsided by my love for my wife and I didn't have a, a you know, a, a reason not to believe her at that point. I, maybe I should have done. What could be the motive? Look, I don't know. I don't know the motive. Motive for what? Motive for uh, the murder. Motive for Sheena's murder. Look, I don't know. I, I'm finding it hard to digest this information as we speak. Uh, well, the facts uh, are out not, in the public domain. No, the facts may be out, but the facts are, you know, they have to be proven facts. They have to be You facts don't believe that, there was a murder? Look, I, I don't know what to believe. What I read, what I, you know, what I see on the television, what I read in the papers, I, you know, I, I have to try and process that in the context So of your wife what, Indrani came down to Bombay and she said that she had successfully separated Sheena from Rahul, mm -hmm. taken her to Guwahati and then what? She just came back and resumed life? Yeah. Yeah, and that she was going to then move and on you, from Guwahati to I, I cannot the US. understand, Mr. Mukherjee, why is it that a person like you or your entire family did not make any attempt to raise questions about how a person can disappear into thin air? Well, I don't think she ever disappeared into thin air. Did you ever speak I don't, to her? Did you ever want to speak to no, her? No, I didn't speak to her because I was never in a in a, a kind of a environment where I was on a regular conversation with Sheena or with Mikhail. I would meet them you, when they you came. You find it suspicious that she would not speak to you, to, mm. to Vidhi, to any other members of the family, that she was just incommunicado in today's world, look, no idea about her whereabouts? It, it, look, it, it, it may have seemed a little strange that she was not incommunicado, or in communication, but you know, when a family uh, wants to kind of uh, break down a particular relationship that they're not happy with, they, you know, they they sometimes sometimes they, they sometimes cut off communication lines between the people concerned and ask them to put their mobile away, switch off their Facebook, switch off social media, whatever it is, so as and be so non-existent, so as to limit contact. Do you feel it raises questions about the family, your own role? Why nobody asked any questions? Well, that's not, the question that's going look, on. You can choose to ask other members of my family. I can't speak for what them. What about you? But from my point of view, I thought, look, I, the only person I would want to get this information from was my wife who went to Bombay for that purpose, came to uh, um, meet with Sheena, had arranged a pre-agreed date and time and place to meet, and that could not have been done without Sheena's consent. They couldn't have arranged to meet in a particular location without Sheena's knowledge. Did Sheena live in your house for no. three years? No, not at all. Did Sheena she was, come and go? She was, she was a... How well did you know her? ...occasional visitor. I knew her as well as, uh, you know, she was Indrani's sister. She was a sister-in-law who was a student at university in Mumbai. And uh, I would see her whenever she would come home, which would be on a Saturday or a Sunday or a holiday. Right. So I had no real reason to be in contact with her. I had a mobile number when she was in Mumbai, when she was at, as a student. But after that, probably... Are you saying you had a distant kind yeah, of equation? I, I wouldn't say... Look, it was distant to the extent that we were not in regular contact. And uh, she was far more in contact with uh, my daughter, Vidhi. She was far more in contact with my wife. Uh, and that was 
you know, the way it, it worked. And I had no reason to kind of feel either kind of, um, uh, you know, isolated in that relationship. It was my relationship with my wife, but that's her sister. And they were they were sisters and, and that was what it was. One of the things which has been spoken about as possible motive has been property or money. Anything to that extent? Were there any conflicts on money between Indrani and Sheena? Any financial transactions involving Sheena? Look, I'll tell any you, I, I don't think this? there was any financial... Personally, I don't think there was any financial issues. I um, never heard Sheena or, uh, uh, or Indrani squabble about uh, money, hmm. you know, in, in any real sense. Hmm. Uh, Sheena's, you know, college fees were paid, her... her um, her PG fees were uh, charges and fees were paid, and you know I never really heard there was any financial issues mm. with regard to property. None whatsoever. Look, I had no contact with the family as such. Mm. I have never met China's and Rani's parents. I only met China and brother Mikhail. Mm. So there was never a question of me having knowledge of what properties they owned or where those properties were, etc. So the, the concept of actually trying to get a sense of whether there was any squabble between the two sisters about uh, property was, was simply non-existent. Right. I had never any knowledge of that. But was there any conflict between you and Indrani about uh, your allowing the relationship between your son and... Look, of course, Shina. I think Indrani felt that I had encouraged the relationship between Rahul and Shina and that I wasn't doing enough to, um, you know, put that to, a, to an end. But um, my view was that there were two adults, there were two consenting adults, and, you know, they knew how to lead their life. And they knew that... But having said that, I did say to Rahul that I think this is a relationship that was not going to have a great future because it was, you know, he needed to get himself a career first and then decide to make a life with a, you know, a lady. So, if so Sheena was the source of conflict in the family. You know? Well, I don't know it was Sheena. I think it was the relationship that was the, the cause of conflict. It wasn't just Sheena. Relationship, or just, yeah. just Sheena or Sheena's just, relationship or just, with Rahul. Or just Rahul. But I think Rahul was perhaps more a source of irritation to Indrani, obviously, because she thought that, you know, he was... Have there been any conversations about where Sheena is between you and other members of your family and Indrani? Uh, look, how did she react when that question was asked? Indrani, obviously, look, the first time she had... The, the reaction was very straightforward in that she said, look, she's gone to the U.S. and she's going to be living there and she's studying there and she's... No, I, I meant when you... Did you ever confront uh, Indrani uh, with this information that your son had given you that uh, she now was a daughter? When of you course I did. And, and of course the reaction was completely uh, to refute that. And she refute was, she or was, just... No, no, she refuted it completely. There was no question of any sort of uh, agreeing to it. And she said, look, there is absolutely no, no question of... Uh, of uh, uh, you know anything other than the sister sister relationship and they were siblings and that was, was it. she touchy about it yeah of course after, was she angry about it of course and uh, you know and angry you know when I raised it a second time or a third time and it, that, that anger so very soon it became a subject which was completely taboo taboo subject yeah it was a taboo subject in, in amongst all of us we would not never discuss either Sheena or Rahul or Rahul and Sheena together because it would lead to a complete dramatic uh, kind of argument and, and, you know, a, a complete breakdown of conversation between the, the three people in the home. Okay. And so, obviously, never wanting to kind of make that a, a daily feature, one would not discuss it. It would not discuss unless there was a phone call that arrived for some purpose or there was an email that came out of the, you know, into either into me or from So from you, son. where did you assume she was all this way? In the United States. Where in the United States? With I was told in Los Angeles. Lo where in Los Angeles? I don't know exactly. To be honest. You didn't ask. I never asked. I never asked because I, I, you know, there was no reason for me to ask. I, she was in LA and but, she was but, happy. Did Indrani tell you not to be in touch with Sheena or not to? Well, have any conversation? What it, was look, that? it was a subject which was had become taboo. There was no question of me then on the quiet meeting Sheena and talking to Sheena or talking to Rahul or whatever because the two of them were sort of persona non grata as far as you know Indrani was concerned. So, so if there was it was running if, family if feud. there was something, I don't know about a feud, but if she, it was, they were persona non grata to that extent. And therefore, for me to kind of then want to be in contact or in conversation with my wife about somebody who was persona non grata would only have led to, uh, you know, uh, acrimonious, further acrimonious kind of situation. And you say you chose to play safe? And quite obviously, yes. So when, when the police came, uh, tell me about the moment of the arrest. Where were you? 
when the police came in and look, this happened two days ago. Yeah. Uh, I was returning home from the from a workout at the gym and. Um, my daughter phoned me to say, listen, you please come home quickly because there's about eight or ten police people at home. Sure. And um, I was completely shocked and surprised. I said, what's the matter? We said, no, they're taking our phones and laptops, and mobiles, etc. And I needed to come home and, you know, try and see what was going on. So I did. And of course, I came and I found there were ten police officers sitting there and they were inquiring, looking through various sort of family albums and photographs, etc. And asking and asked for Indrani's passport and, uh, and so on. So I provided that. I was then asked by the officer in charge, do I know somebody called Sheena Bora? And I said, yes, she's Indrani's sister. Yeah. And then I was asked whether I knew somebody called Sanjeev Khanna. And I said, yes, that was Indrani's ex-husband. And, uh, and I was told that there is a murder charge against Indrani and uh, that was it. And what did, what, where was Indrani? What, how was she reacting to it? Well, Indrani that? was in, also in complete uh, disarray. She was in tears. She was, um, you know, wanting me to find out what was going on. So I asked the officer and he said, look, you need to, he said, look, Pindani has to go with them to the police station in car and answer some questions. And I asked them whether they, she is being arrested and they said yes. At which point I phoned a, a, a lawyer friend and I asked him what these charges were about and he explained this is to do with murder and kidnap, etc. And that he then said, okay, I will, uh, it sounds like a serious situation, let me get uh, a lawyer to meet you at the uh, the police station. You've been, in, you've been in touch with Indrani since. I have not been in touch with Indrani since at all. In fact, it's a it's a you know it's a concern area for me because I I just hope she's well. I'm sure you know she's been treated well. But the fact is, the police are carrying out their investigations now, now, and they need to. But Mr. Mukherjee, what would you say uh, to all those reports and all those people who are saying that you know all this makes Mr. Peter Mukherjee look? very, very gullible, uh, very believing uh, on the one side of his wife, and that it's difficult to believe that he is, but probably he's hiding something. He's not told us the complete truth. Right. No, look, I think it's a fair assumption that that is but something that people will consider that I'm uh, gullible and, uh, you know, but I can assure you I'm certainly not hiding anything. I've completely I've shared with you or not just now and in, you know, in an earlier conversation that I have absolutely no knowledge, had no knowledge of any of this um, to any, any further extent than what I have conveyed already. And that is the absolute truth. So there is no question of me, you know, uh, being dishonest about it. I've been completely transparent. Yes, in terms of gullibility, sure. Then look, in a, in a, I believe my wife, maybe I shouldn't believe her as quite as much as I should have. Oh, or I should have believed her less than I do. So I think you it's think a... You knew she was in touch with her earlier ex-husband, Mr. Sanjeev Khanna, who was believed to be in the car? Um, no, off and on, they probably had a conversation when there was a, you know, a particular situation that might have arisen, mm -hmm. um, you know, to do with Vidhi and she was being difficult to handle as a teenager, etc. But nothing more than that. And there was a, you know, occasional constant sort of threat that if Vidhi, to Vidhi, that if she didn't behave, she would be sent back to Calcutta. Sure. Uh, but that was that. And, and um, but, you know, there was no other contact uh, in that sense. And I thought that was a contact that happened once in a blue moon. And if that, uh, what I hear today is that that contact was much more regular and it was, uh, you know, what he was doing in Bombay at that time on that date is a complete, complete mystery to me. You believe your wife is the murderer? Certainly not. At this point, look, I find it impossible to believe that she's a murderer because she's, you know, I've lived with her for 15 years and uh, she's certainly never indicated to me that she's got any kind of murderous instinct in her, in her character. Uh, and, and, and when you hear now that she was strangulated, that she, uh, she was killed, her body was cut into pieces, burnt and disposed not far from this city, how do you react? I'm, I'm horrified, to be honest with you. I'm horrified as you probably are and as everybody else who's, you know, hearing and reading all of this, it is just completely unbelievable. It's not something that I could have ever imagined was something that would happen, you know, to with with somebody as, as somebody I was as close to as my wife. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Mukherjee. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Arnold.